Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, I've already opened Illustrator, and now we'll come over here to Create New. I'll come up here to Print on the top row, and then I'll choose Letter, and then we'll Create right over here at the bottom right. Okay, so let's make a few shapes. The Shape Builder is really great for combining shapes or removing pieces of shapes, so we need to get a few shapes on our artboard. Hit L on your keyboard, and then draw a circle while holding Shift. Now we can hit V and click on the edge and just Shift and Option drag it. So that's Shift and Alt on a PC. So that makes a copy, and it also keeps it kind of in line. That's what Shift does. Okay, and now let's grab a corner and hold Shift and Option and make it a little bit bigger. We'll move it down a little bit. And we'll do that again to make the third part of a little snowman. So I'm going to click and drag, and while I'm still dragging, I'm going to hold Shift and Option. Then I will take a corner and hold Shift and Option and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so right now I have a fill and a stroke on each one of these. I have a white fill and a black stroke. So I'm gonna select all of them. Um, just so that you can get to where I'm at, uh, hit D on your keyboard. That'll also give you a white stroke, I mean a white fill and a black outline. Okay, so we do not want the white fill. I just want a black outline and that way you can see what's going on. So I'm going to hit my question mark or backslash key which will cause this to go away. And now if we click off, we can see we have three overlapping shapes. So when we use our Shape Builder tool, we have to have something selected. So first you'll wanna make sure you have these selected again. Let's get on our selection tool and just click and drag around all three shapes. And now we'll get our Shape Builder tool by hitting Shift M. Shift M will take us to this tool right over here, which is the Shape Builder tool. To combine all of these three shapes with a Shape Builder tool, all we have to do is click up here and drag through all of them. And now they're one shape. And if you hit Command Y on your keyboard or Control Y on a PC, you can see that they have actually been combined into one shape. All right, now I'm going to draw some arms for our little snowman. So I'll hit N on my keyboard to get to the pencil tool. And I'm just going to start in here and draw like this. Now when you draw the next piece of those arms, it's going to redraw the shape. So you'll need to hit V and then click off and then hit N again and draw the next piece. V, click off and hit N to draw the next piece. And then I'll also do the same over here. All right, so now I'm going to select these with my selection tool and they are strokes. The pencil will always make strokes. So let's increase our stroke weight, make them really thick. And I'm going to zoom in with my Z tool. Okay, now one thing the Shape Builder tool can do is get rid of the little piece that crosses over. I'm going to select the snowman and hold shift and then select that one little piece that I drew. And then I'll hold shift M to get my Shape Builder tool back and then hold Option or Alt on a PC, and then just click. You need to be right on top of that, and it'll turn red, and that way you can get rid of it. Now, normally, I wouldn't want to do this because I think it actually looks more normal, but with your own designs, that could be something you want to do. Now, when we're working with open shapes and closed shapes, even if they overlap, Shape Builder might not work as you expect. So if you hit Command Y or Control Y on a PC, you can see that this is a completely closed shape. There is no open area, but this piece right here isn't closed. It's just open on both ends. It doesn't come to a completely closed circle or anything like that. So when you combine these, hit Command Y or Control Y again to get back to your normal view. So if you combine these with a Shape Builder, Shift M, like this, nothing happens. So if you wanted to combine these, you would have to actually expand this stroke. So I wanna show you what that would be like. I'm going to select these three strokes and then expand them. We'll go to Option, we'll go to Object, Expand, and we'll expand both Fill and Stroke. We'll say OK. 
So now they don't have that center line anymore. Now they are completely closed shapes. And you can see this if you hit Command Y or Control Y. This one now is completely enclosed and it's a lot different than this one over here. So let's select all three of those shapes. I'll hit Command Y again or Control Y on a PC. And I'll hold Shift and get our snowman, which is also a closed shape. And now I'll hit Shift M to get back to our shape builder. And I'm going to hold Shift and just draw a box around all of these things. And now they are one shape. If we hit Command Y or Control Y, you can see that it's connected those arms to the little snowman guy. Hit Command Y or Control Y to get back. And it's also turned everything to one color. I'm going to get my stroke in front and just get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. So the long story is that you need to expand your strokes if you want to use Shape Builder to combine it with a already closed shape. This is also true of brushes. Brushes are always a stroke. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to cut them out of a shape or anything like that, you need to expand them first. There are a couple more things that Shape Builder can do. You can take two overlapping shapes and make several different shapes from them. So I'm going to remake my little snowman guy real quick here. And I'm going to color him with a few different shades of color so you can see what's happening. I'm going to select all with my selection tool and then I'm going to hit Shift M to get my Shape Builder tool. I'm just going to click once in between these two shapes and then I'm going to click again in between these two. And what this has done, it doesn't seem to have changed it very much, but um, what it's actually done is cut each piece out. So you can see when you move them apart what has happened. And this can be really nice if you, let's say you wanted a little baseball or tennis ball. Now you at least have a starting point for a little tennis ball, for example. And then the last thing that I want to show you about the Shape Builder is that it can make a shape with shapes you've created, like in the negative space. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and just draw a few rectangles. These four rectangles um, they cross over here, but what if I want this little shape in here? I can also get that by hitting Shift M and just clicking in that space. And now I can move that out of there. And I've created a space from the negative space, and that's something that's really cool too. Although I don't often use Shape Builder for that reason. It is available. Okay, so in a nutshell, that is how to use the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.